Hey everybody. Sorry, uh, I took an incredibly late start because I wanted, you know, I wanted to sleep and like some other stuff happened and more stuff happened and I got angry and oh boy. And to top it all off, really looking at YouTube's algorithm, I'm getting more views than I literally know what to do with. And now since YouTube's algorithm has changed more to engagement rather than uh, views now, I gotta try even I gotta try even harder. And I'm not saying I ain't up for the challenge, but fuck, just my luck, man. Just just my fucking luck, you know. Just just my luck. It is just my luck that that actually just went into effect. But like, whatever. I'll do what I can, you know what I mean? I've been dealing with a glitch on my channel for like, basically since I started YouTube, but fuck, I'll keep doing what I do. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm sorry guys, like I had a lot of things planned today, and because I decided to nap and a few other things happened that I didn't have any control over, which I fucking can't stand. You know, I'm a little late today, and it really sucks, because I know you guys were probably expecting a few, uh, codes and whatnot to be sprinkled about my videos, and maybe a few lore things here and there, because I've been hinting at it. And I'm sorry, I was gonna do those things, but... Just today, today just... Today just hit me in the back of the head with a bat, okay? I'm sorry. But what I can tell... But what I can do right now... What I can do. Um, what I can do is talk about something real quick. I was gonna do the Steven Universe uh, review, but I'll do it. I'll do it in a minute. I'll do it. I'll be the next video I'll do like right after this one. Okay. So again, I want I want to talk about this because it's about my girlfriend. And in y'all met any before. She's been in my videos a few times. And you've seen her in, in a video where me and her were in the same room. You know. But, you know, the one thing that really got to her is this whole dark situation. We got her we got Dark's everlasting loving a fuck boys. Constantly trying to be like, oh, Dark did middle high school because of that, because of Ant, because of, because of you, and They just call her Nayu on the DA, but, like, it's, again, it still kind of pisses me off. Anyways, so, like, so, like, it's, like, it's, and it's, it's, like, they're trying to say it's Anne's fault that Dark got himself in a mental hospital because Anne was just, you know, just doing what she does. Okay, let okay, let me rewind it back. This okay, what happened was basically Anne was dealing with this other DA user called Emily. And she was gonna expose this person for the for the person she really was. And then fucking Dark out of nowhere just comes in. Also Jared the motherfucking Fox was involved for a little bit, like a little bit like usual, because Jared the motherfucking Fox, like I've said to my friend, is he, he was waiting for any opportunity for me or Anne to flounder, because, well, he's a spiteful dick that doesn't know how to socialize with anybody else in the world. It's just how it is. But, but, you know, I literally saw some of the screen caps that um, he was sending Anne and a few of the other people. And like this motherfucker was insane. And let me let me explain something to you, Emily, and all the other little, little doc, little, little doc, doc uses. Y'all are being used. Y'all are being played like a ten dollar fiddle at fuck, at fucking Walmart. Meaning you were used in the very beginning. Listen, Dark didn't care. Dark doesn't care a damn thing about any of you. I'll tell you this right now. 
he only uses you guys as fucking pawns. And you guys, you guys are probably like, oh, Bugsy, what are, what do you mean by that? What I mean technically is that Dark basically used you guys to further his own ends. And whether you guys like to hear that or not, or don't want to hear me because I called you fuckboys, get over it! Shit. Well, th you know, the thing about Jerry the Wizard of Rock is I literally told this man to calm the fuck down. He's like, oh, you're insulting me! You're insulting me! I'm like, mother, calm the calm down, man! Calm the fuck down! Jesus. <laughs> you know, I don't, see, that's how I know that man doesn't know how to socialize because no one has ever talked to him like that. Not even a friend. And, I, and, you know, maybe it's because I've got a certain group of friends that will say that to me and I'll say that to them. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just because I know, you know, maybe it's because I just know friends and I don't know about Jared, he's just, mm. But either way, you know, he was u he was using you guys. You're you're like his little private army, and the fact that you guys don't see it is even sadder. I, any any was hurting, and y'all motherfuckers don't care. I had to explain that to her that y'all don't care because because y'all will ride dark to the very end because y'all don't care. Remember, there's always two sides to every story, and the fact that you guys were being used and didn't want to question. Okay, maybe Dark may be doing something wrong and we're not seeing it. But no. You're you guys are the actual definition of mindless sheep. That just proves how mindless you guys are because you're just willing to jump on whatever that dude says. This dude had problems from the very beginning. Who tells another person their information over DA? when you don't even know that person like like Anne's a like Anne is a nice kind beautiful sexy person again they actually add the sexy part but that's just me but you know he didn't he didn't know that Anne's a nice per, a nice person you know that wouldn't have told you know she only told because this motherfucker wouldn't, wouldn't leave her alone she's like he's like fucking Scott and oh yeah, Scott, fucking get out of my comments. I like seriously, fuck you. I don't want anything to do with you, you motherfucking you motherfucking piece of clown shoes. If you don't know what that is, kids, that's a Jane Silent Bob joke. None of you are gonna get that. <laughs> but literally, guys, Anne's hurting. And I I usually stay out of most of the stuff because when she can handle stuff herself, she really doesn't need me, and I don't want to be the dude that goes like, "Oh, I will defend her" when she can actually take care of herself. But she was crying, and I felt I felt bad. I understand that Anne really doesn't have the kind of fortitude. I can tell any, I can tell I can tell any of Dark's followers to go fuck themselves. You know, you know, shove a dildo up their asses, spin around sideways, go fuck yourself, and fuck everything about you. But Anne doesn't have that ability like I do. Like, I can freaking tell everybody to go fuck themselves, and I'll be done. Be a little bit mad afterwards, but moving on to other things, I'll be done. Anne doesn't have what I have. Just the epitome of not really giving a shit when it really, when it really doesn't matter. And I felt, you know... And she's just hurting and all this other stuff, and I just got, and you know, and it just, and Dark, I don't care what you think Anne did to you, what she, what you believe she did to you, what you perceive that she did to you, but buddy, she didn't do jack shit to you. Like Todd said, at, like Todd said in BoJack Horseman, in the, in the, current la in the current season finale you're the sum of what is wrong with you sir you know you you did this to yourself you got no one else to blame but yourself for the mess that you're in and oh yeah that little threat you had for my girlfriend what kind of fucking person are you 
Just honestly. Honestly. And yeah, and yeah, he has, he has, he has pro, he has other problems and stuff. But he shouldn't blame that on on a person that person for the most part actually did feel sorry for him. That's what pisses me off. That's what makes me angry. That is what really burns my blood to a boil. Now, my girlfriend was literally crying, and the fact that I live farther away from her so I can't go to her is even more maddening because I can't I can't go to her and hold her and tell her everything's all right you guys know how agonizing that is being with you know being further away from the one you love you can't do shit about it but you you had to grin and bear it because you don't want to show your you want you don't want to show you don't want to show your significant other that you're 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 just as angry as her, and you gotta be calm because you gotta be calm because you gotta you gotta you know you gotta reassure you gotta reassure your significant other that everything's gonna be all right. But I, I, my friend, I, my friends, I'm angry. I'm upset, mostly because you guys and I don't care. I don't care who you are or what age you are. It's still wrong that you guys would go and attack Anne for everything. Everything that Dark did to himself. And that's what really irritates me, irks me. Wish I wish I could actually show you the kind of stuff Dark was really capable of. All the screenshots I saw. Because he don't care because I looked at one, he don't care about none of you assholes. He don't care. He just wanted an army. He wanted an army to freaking take down my girlfriend for what, for whatever fucking reason came to his little head. But none of you, none of you that actually want to think, think for yourselves, want to actually question why Dark does this. Y'all saw like, oh, oh, I, now you should know it's being a. And being being mean and angry and all this other shit, and you picking motherfuckers. Y'all wouldn't have cared about Emily. Y'all wouldn't have cared about Emily if Dark hadn't have brought it up. And I know that's the truth. And Anne's gonna do a little rant on Emily. And I said, you know, this has gotta be your last your last one because y'all always keep getting in these. You know, scrapes and altercations and all this other stuff. And she, she reassured me that this would be the last time. And I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad. I'm really glad that I heard that. Because, honestly, most of the people on DA, she don't, own you, she don't owe you guys a shit, personally. She don't owe none of you shit. She's only there for her friends and helping out people who she cares about. You know, personally, if I was dealing with any of you, I'd have just told you guys to go fuck yourselves, and I'd be done. But seeing how you just, how most of you just have some, just some perverse pleasure in making people, making people down. I mean, y'all motherfuckers have probably been bullied before. And, you know, you're doing it to someone else? How's that make you feel? Y'all probably got bullied or know someone that got bullied. Yet you guys still want to do your shit. And I say to you, fuck every last one of you. I don't care. Because, honestly, I'm, I'm Bugsy motherfucking Kuro. And you think I give a damn what a bunch of followers say? Oh, hell no. I can care less. I'd sleep better. I'd sleep better not knowing you. I'd sleep better knowing that you guys are the fight's over, but yet you home the stoke flame fires into the flames and just do your little business. Because that's all you guys got. Your leader is gone, yet you're trying to be like, oh well fighting your absence. I would say that that's courageous, but the fact that you're using it to bully 
<laughs> to bully a person is just cowardly. And all of you, all of you should be ashamed. That's the truth. That is the truth with you guys. You guys are cowards, bullies, and little bitches. That, that follow, that, <laughs> sorry, my, br my other little brother is in the background screaming and shit. But anyways, but like, it makes you cowards, it makes you bullies, and it makes you no better than Dark himself. This man used you. This man used you guys. But y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. That's you guys are the very defin and I'll say this again. You guys are the very definition of sheep. Y'all didn't even want to think for yourselves. Y'all just went for it. And that's what pisses me off. Y'all didn't care. Y'all y'all it's like the whole it's like and the reason why I take a very why I'm so harsh right now. Well, it's because the other things that happened today, but mostly it's because I went through the exact same thing. You know, I defended someone way, way back in the day when old Bugsy Kuro was just starting out as a 16, as a 16 year old. And, you know, these people, you know, X Factors, X Factors are little cronies. They didn't care about my side. They didn't care. They didn't care what was actually going on. All they wanted to do was help their little buddy out. Because that's all they really cared about. Only one person who dealt with X Factor before actually cared and wanted to help. Because at least... Because I'll say this. At least someone out there actually gave a damn. And these motherfuckers would harass, harass, harass a first YouTuber that didn't do shit to either of them. But insulted their little buddy and they felt so compelled. You know, they even said, oh, you need to get molested and shit. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? I just say, I just say, it's messed up, because these motherfuckers, again, I was defending somebody back then, and it had nothing to do with them, yet yeah, X-Factor probably was like, oh, this little motherfucker, he's, you know, he's, he's saying all this shit about me, get, get the boys together, and I'm like, you know, I don't even fucking care, man, I, like, seriously, and any of you motherfuckers that are still around after X-Factor's thing, that didn't never said, that never apologized to me, fuck you, just, Fuck you, because y'all, y'all are sheep, and I hope you did, I hope you're doing better now, but I'll never forget that, because that is what made me the fan brat basher. No, that's what made me the basher, the fan brat, making me the fan brat basher was every, all, all the fan girls and boys complaints about various other fandoms. But that's what, that's what started me down this road that I'm on right now. Because I never want people to go through the exact same thing I did while on the internet. And it hurts. It hurts that all I can do basically is make this video trying to appeal to you guys' better natures and do the be and that's it. That's all I got. I would never threaten anybody with any kind of violence or anything because because what what good would that do? What good would that do? Now, Dark's a f Dark is a little little pussy. I don't care. He is. I'm gl and I hope he's getting the help he deserves. Because like that dude was probably gonna do something dangerous, and that's probably why whoever saw him do whatever he was doing called. They called him. Like, they caught him before he did something crazy. You know? Dark was fucked in the head. I ain't gonna lie. He was. But y'all... You guys are the true animals. You really are. You guys are the true animals. Because a person is actually hurt. Or was hurting. I didn't care. 
all y'all cared about is so oh just just the justice of everything. Not the fact that Emily was probably doing some messed up shit to people. Or not the fact that Dark just butted in on something that wasn't his business. No! He, you guys felt like he was being offended. And I'm going to tell Anne to send this to some of you guys. And you know what? Well, me, and, me and the rest of you are going to have a little debate. You see? We're going to have a little debate. I'm just doing this video because I, because one, I felt bad for not giving anybody any content, and I felt bad that I didn't say anything when I know I should have, because I try to stay out of things, mostly, mostly any kind of YouTube or DA drama, because to me, because to me, I feel like YouTube drama is the most pointless thing you could do, two YouTubers having some stupid beef online is stupid, Rice Gum constantly fucking around with Zoe Burger and vice versa is stupid. Keemstar is stupid. Scarce isn't stupid. Like, most of these YouTubers that start, like, dropping shit are dumb to me. Because you rather, you rather actually just, you know, have drama over something that probably either happened later on and you guys still have, like, a grudge. Or do the sensible thing and actually, A... Don't fake your pranks. If you're gonna be a prank channel, don't fake your fucking pranks. Two, you rather talk all about this fucking drama that happened over and over and over and over. Yeah, and I'm yeah I'm saying this. I'm doing the same thing, but only because I'm angry. I'm fucking angry, and this is probably gonna be the last time. This is probably either gonna be the last time you hear it. But know this. I'm not the bull I'm not the belligerent type that will keep beating you over the head that this happened. I say it once, and if something if something new comes along, I will probably I will probably talk about it again. But other than that, I don't really care about Rice Gum or any of these other freaking YouTubers having big beef with each other because honestly, I care about my fucking fucking fans. The people who actually watch my videos. Not you motherfuckers that constantly not you not not people that I wanna start fights with just because. Personally, I'm in I'm in it for the I'm in it I'm gonna be in it for the people. A little bit for the money to help myself out and various other things. And make a career off of it. But I am not in it. I will never be in it for drama, views, or anything like that. Because at least I care about my audience. At least I treat them with respect. At least I am not a dick. <laughs> well, I am kind of a dick, but like I'm not a I'm not a dick to everybody I see. Is what I'm trying to say. So, I think I'm done here, um, in a minute, stay tuned for Breath of the Wild, stay tuned for my Breath of the Wild reaction, and various other videos that I'm gonna do throughout the weekend, because yeah, I was gonna do, I was gonna talk about the Game Awards, I was gonna talk about Kojima, uh, but shit happened, that's what happened, so yeah, Dark's followers, just to put it bluntly, y'all motherfuckers got used. Emily, you got used. <laughs> the funny thing is that you guys just don't see it. But oh well. Sometimes, sometimes people will just blindly follow a cause. Don't care what it is, don't care who it is, don't care who it's hurting, they'll just follow it. And I know, that's human nature. But you'd think, but you'd want to believe that people are a little bit smarter than that. You'd want to believe that. But I guess... But I guess... This is... But I guess... But I guess mankind... Well, like usual, wanna... But I guess the whole of DA and mankind wanna act like idiots. And... And, you know, pretty much don't wanna think or don't wanna question what's going on with various things. And that's perfectly okay. 
It just proves that. It proves that aliens will never come and a whole bunch of other shit. Because, you know, we're too dumb. Or, more importantly, the people who, the people who do, the, do this kind of follow the bandwagon shit are the reason why pe why people why why stuff why bad shit happens. Not everybody's a horrible person, I ain't gonna say that everybody is, but it just goes to show. People will follow a cause blindly and don't care about anybody else but themselves. And it just fucking proves everything I've ever said about people on the internet. Or at least, people who want to just follow a bandwagon. See you guys later. I'm Bugsy. And if you excuse me, I'm going to weep for the rest of mankind. Because I think someone has to.